Ian, uh, congratulations uh, right here. I believe this is your first stoppage win in the UFC, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it's a funny thing. I guess I just knock people out when there's no crowd because the same thing happened in Contender Series. So not really UFC, but kind of. But yeah, this is my first stoppage in the UFC. A quick work, but how, how happy with your performance and the little time you were in there? Yeah, it was amazing, man. It, I, it just was the, the mantra of this whole fight camp and this fight was movement. And the movement set up the big right hand. Instead of me always hunting the head like I usually do with the big shots, I let the kicks and the movement set up the big overhand, which got the knockout. Well, a lot was made on the broadcast of your changing cam. So physically, how much of a difference did that play not training in the high altitude of Factor X and then switching over uh, to Thailand? So I actually switched over to Thailand and then COVID hit. I was about two weeks into camp. I had to come back to Colorado. And um, I didn't go back to my old camp because I just didn't want the tension. And uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to take a fight, but I just found some great old training partners. And um, I used uh, Jake Ramos and Peter Straub, one from Elevation, one from Genesis, and just a small group of really good training partners. And uh, the private attention was amazing. And I think I'm, I'm probably going to split camps now. And then this was a pretty hectic fight week for you. You might, at one point you did, you, they pulled you from the fight. So what exactly happens uh, in those 48 hours leading up to this fight? Um, yeah, I mean, they call me the king of controversy uh, for a reason because it feels like I'm always in the center of it. And, you know, I, I shine when, when I'm in controversy. For some reason, it's just what, what God has put on me. And, uh, you know, it was wild, you know, first, they, they were blowing up my phone. Hey, your corner man tested positive. They came and got him. And then we sat down and we're like, how did this happen? And we realized he was around all the other people too, a bunch of other fighters. So the whole card was probably going to flop. And we're like, there's no way he tested positive. We found out it was an inconclusive test. We got him retested and the UFC did a great job. We found him to be negative. And uh, I had to turn my phone off for like five hours because the, it leaked on the internet. And everyone was blowing me up. My fight was pulled. So I just had to stay focused. I was in the middle of cutting weight. I had to keep cutting weight. I wanted to eat, but um, I just stayed focused. Down here on your left, you talked about fighting on uh, Contender Series. Fighting with no crowd is one thing, but on Contender Series, you have no music. So was it a little bit more bearable tonight to be able to get pumped up on the way out? Yeah, you know, Bruce Bruce always gets me real hyped. But yeah, the walkout song is is uh, is one of the most memorable moments of the fight. I really try to soak that in because sometimes you can't remember your fight. And uh, the music helped and Bruce really helped. And um, you, you fought Contender Series at the uh, at the old venue, correct? Correct. So what was it like being here? This place is pretty uh, phenomenal. Does it make you a little jealous that they have it nicer now? Or does it kind of make you feel like a Contender Series OG? Yeah, yeah, definitely a contender series OG, you know, but it was cool to get to experience the Apex as well. I'd never been here before except uh, before tonight, and it's a beautiful facility, and uh, I was I was excited to fight here. Um, last thing for me, there's been a few compelling matchups for you that have just kind of dissolved over the last year or two. I think about, like, Brad Tavares is one of them and yeah. others. Um, any of those that you want to think about putting back together? Because, I mean, looking at where you're at in the ranks, you know, a guy like him or somebody around there makes sense, right? Yeah, absolutely. You know, since I've been in the UFC, I've basically fought only ranked fighters. And, you know, uh, taking a few close decision losses, I had to kind of evolve and come in my own to where I'm at right now. And I, I think Uriah Hall would be a great matchup. I think Brad Tavares, we could get that matchup going. I had to – I got a concussion before the last fight. So, um yeah, anything that keeps me climbing, I'm good with. Back here. You talked about the... Hold on. Is that better? All right. Back here. You talked about kind of the chaos that surrounds you and the things that you've endured and been through in your life. Can you still hear me? Yes. Back up. Okay. Yeah. So the things that you've been through in your life and, and sort of that comfort zone that you feel. Can you describe that comfort zone that you feel in that chaos? A lot of people out there can't get into that state but you seem to thrive in it. Yeah, you know, um, you know, I've been rock bottom in a, in a foreign prison cell for two and a half years and, and six years later, here I am. And so, you know, just being quarantined and kind of locked in our room, you know, I had to kind of get in that prison mindset, like nothing can affect me right now. Like just stay focused. I just had to keep, uh, keep up with my weight cut. And, and I just had to kind of go to those dark places and remember where I've been. And I just feel like my bulletproof mindset is what sets me apart.
Can you just go into that a little deeper, that bulletproof mindset, how you developed it, how it's evolved over the years, and how you've been able to endure all the things that you've been able to endure in your life, yet still come forward, still keep marching forward, and still keep fighting every step of the way? Yeah, you know, I just trust fully in Jesus Christ, and I know he has a plan for my life, no matter how crazy and hectic it gets down here. I just look above at him. I don't focus on my situation or the things around. And uh, I just have to get back in that mindset. You know, this quarantine has been, been pretty easy for me because I'm used to being locked up. It's all about routine. It's all about trusting and faith. And it's all about just, just blocking out all that stuff you can't control. Because if you can't control it, wh why are you worrying about it? And what would you say to anybody out there who's faced with similar circumstances and maybe feels like they can't recover from them when you're living proof that not only can you recover from it, you can go way above and beyond what anyone might expect from you? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, getting out of prison in 2014, I was nobody. I was 26 years old. I hadn't trained MMA in a real gym ever. People said, you're too old. You, you're too gone. You're, you're a drug addict. So many things. Don't listen to the doubters and the haters, man. Do not focus on that. Focus on God, what he says about your life. And you can turn nothing into something and you can climb to the top. And I'm living proof. And when I get that belt, there's a there will be a book. There will be a movie. Deals are in the works right now. And I just want to motivate and inspire. Ian, one more, actually. Uh, yes, sir. You were actually plus 850 to get a first round stoppage. So I would like to get your thoughts on that. Really? OK, well, I hope someone bet on me that I know I need my cut. But uh <laughs> Wow. Yeah. No, I mean, I haven't showed this this first round finishing power in, in my last fights, you know, and, you know, it, it, it's it's a different step. Like when I first got in LFA, you know, I was only getting I was uh, I was kind of not getting or I was getting decisions before LFA. And then when I stepped up, I found my own and then I started getting finishes again. And when I first got to the UFC, I was getting decisions, but I had to find that swag and that and that that groove about me again and being comfortable in a different cage. And and I think I found it.